Welcome to Dr. Hayden, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Tiny Bomb. Welcome to Pint Size. Today we've got a can of Tiny Bomb from the Wise Acre Brewery out of Memphis, Tennessee. This beer was sent to us by Pint Size mega fan Stuart Jansen. Thank you so much for sending these and these beers, and I can't wait to try this one in particular. The crew at Wise Acre are all about quality and uniquely flavorful beer. They want to make beer that appeals to passionate and progressive people through education and good times. The brewery name comes from a term of endearment, or scolding, their grandmother used on the young troublemakers, brothers Davin and Kellen Bartosh. They dreamed up Wiseacre many moons ago and have been on an extensive quest, procuring top-notch experience from around the globe to deliver the crunkest brewery possible in their groovy hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. What the hell does crunkest mean? Is it cool and drunk? Am I crunk? I'm so crunk right now. Okay, so the Tiny Bomb American Pilsner. It is 4.5%. Let's have a closer look at the can. Really cool branding on this one again. You've got this nice little pattern. There's the bomb. It's like a pineapple. Mmm, pineapple. There's the Wiseacre Brewery there at the top. And Tiny Bomb American Pilsner. Tasty. Here's a little blurbus from Wiseacre about the Tiny Bomb. Boom. The soft waters of Pilsen, Czech Republic, birthed this classic style centuries ago, and waters from the artesian wells in Memphis are perfect to create our own version today. Pow! This beer is made from German and American Pilsner malts, and it's spiked with 50 pounds of local wildflower honey. There are delicate aromas of sugar and clover wafting forth from this crisp, smooth, pale lager. Shazam! That just sounds so epic, and I'm going to pour this right now, because I'm I'm shaking with excitement about trying one of these beers. Oh, look at that colour. I've got a really nice, crisp, white, thick head. A lot of carbonation, lovely yellow, goldeny, summery colour. I've got grassiness, sort of a bit of pepper, maybe a bit of sort of toast, and that nice biscuity flavour that you get from a lot of sort of either IPAs or, or, or craft pilsners. Oh, Ooh, that's smoky, smoky, peppery, biscuity. Sort of citric. It was a lovely sort of crunchy, grassy flavour. There's not much hop bitterness, but there's this nice is this nice bitterness coming from coming from maybe the sort of citrus fruit or that honey. What a beer! If I, I can't stop trying it, if I rated beer, which I don't, this would be a ten. Ten out of ten, not ten percent. Ten, 10 stars. 10 out, of, 10 out of 10 stars. The tiny bombs of knowledge that are up for discussion today are Bermuda at the 2011 World Championships in Athletics, 1969 in Kuwait, 1964 to 65, Serre C. John Mayer. 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 Arnold's Baumanis. Now, as much as I love saying Baumanis, we're going to go with the 1964 to 65 Serie C. Serie C is the third tier of Italian football after A and B. Like Sesame Street. God. The reason I chose this one is because of who won that season and was promoted to Serie B with 15 wins, 17 draws, and two losses. It was a team called Novara Calcio. They're based in Novara, outside Milan, and they're one of the few clubs that I absolutely adore. For anyone that's familiar with the game Football Manager, you know how connected you can become to a club, and I spent years managing Novara, alongside my managerial rival, Pete, off of Pints with Pete, who spent their time at Pescara. Novara having a bit of a tough time at the moment, so it's nice to see that in the 1964-65 season, they had a bit of success come their way. And that makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside, although that may be the beer, I think that's the beer. That was probably really dull to most of you out there, but I don't care, I'm crunk. I'm cool and drunk. Final word on this beer, 10 out of 10. What an amazing beer, what a great American Pilsner. Full of flavor, nice lingering honey, just delicious. Thank you so much for sending this, Stuart, and thank you to the Wiseacre Brewery for making a truly awesome beer. That's all there is to say, thanks so much for watching. Comment in the section below about your local brewery and any godly beers that they may produce. Remember to subscribe if you like what you saw, like us on Facebook, and I'll see you next time.